Hey everyone, so I just got back from the gym about 20 minutes ago and my workout sucked I felt like. Like I still worked out for an hour but it was just one of those days where I felt sick and dizzy and I just didn't push myself very hard so I'm just like... And then this morning I've just been spilling shit everywhere and just like messing everything up and it's just one of those days where nothing is going right. But I'm gonna have some breakfast. I have a juice here and I'm also just gonna make some muffin splits which I barely ever eat because they're not really good for you but... They are so yum and I just feel like shit so I'm having them for comfort food. <laughs> These were my life when I was little. And I've got some beetroot and spinach juice as well. Honestly. These are the best. So this morning I'm going to have a shower soon. I've just got a few emails I have to do. I've got so many like contracts to sign and just heaps of stuff like that. And then I am also going to edit today. Because every time I feel this way like just feel like I don't know everything's going wrong. Like there's no point in filming because like I don't know I'm just never as enthusiastic and happy as I normally would be while I'm doing like the video. I just don't enjoy doing it so much so days when I feel a little bit like this are definitely best just to edit and get all those little boring jobs done and then hopefully tomorrow I'll feel better or like hopefully later on today I'll feel better. I just feel like I don't even know. I don't know if I had a bad sleep or what it is. It's just like everything's just like pleh. This is making me so happy though. Is that Lily? Who's this? So cute. <laughs> he was asleep before but he woke up when he saw the camera. Cutest doggy ever. Hello my little bug. What are you doing in here? Zeus's favourite bed next to the front door. So he can spy out the little windows, eh? Do you like spying on people outside? Look how comfy that bed looks. All off the ground so it's nice and warm. Huh? Spoil. I've decided today I'm going to take it a little bit easy. I'm going to set up my video for Friday. Um, I'm going to set up my video for Monday and start editing another video. But then I'm just going to chill. I've got to do some more work on some lashes with XO Beauty. So I might just play around with those for a while and decide what kind of styles I want to bring in. And then I'm just going to relax a little bit because I feel like the stress is dying to catch up on me. Hello. Thank you for the kisses. Mmm. Yep, that's my hair. Don't eat that. So yeah, I'm just gonna... <laughs> try and take it easy. I like your scarf. So this was inside. I'm not quite sure what to expect. But we'll have a look. Ooh! Exciting! Some Adidas stuff. Oh my god, I'm in my element. That's so cute. It's a t-shirt. Um, Nike. Looks like a really nice like workout singlet. Oh, the Stella sport collection. That's the little crop jacket. Um, oh my god. These shoes though. Oh my goodness. Thank you guys so much who have sent this to me. Sports bra. Here we go. Shannon, hope you love this box of SS goodies as much as we do. Enjoy the team at Sterling Sports. Thank you guys so, so much. Exciting. Oh, and some workout pants. Well, this is all definitely going to a good home. I will wear this stuff to death. I love it. Do you love it too? Do you want to sit in the box? Hop in the box. Go on. Hop in the box. Zeus, hop in the box. What's in here? Hop in the box. Louis like ripped a whole tree out of the ground, didn't you? Little shit. You little shit. But I love you. <laughs> I haven't showered yet. <laughs> I probably smell so bad, but YOLO. I'm just having lunch now. It is 12 lunchtime. I'm just having a juice because, I don't know, I don't really feel well. Having those muffin splits for breakfast probably didn't help, but sometimes when I have a really, really sore stomach, I just like to have a juice because I'm not necessarily hungry, but... When you juice, like, it just takes out all of the work that your stomach has to do, like, all the fiber and stuff, which fiber is good for you, of course. But this is just, like, vitamins. Like, pure, straight-up vitamins, and usually it helps to settle my stomach a little bit, so that's what I'm having for lunch. Tastes pretty good, too. It's just tons and tons of greens. Lily's being a sook. <laughs> Achoo! Huh? Mm -hmm. So, for the last couple hours, I've just been setting up my videos I've set up I'll give you guys my little schedule if you want so on Friday I am which is the day you're watching this I think 
I am putting up that dark fairy look with the blue wig and the horns. That's going up Friday, 2 p.m. New Zealand time. And then on Monday next week, my stitched mouth tutorial is going up. So many of you are looking forward to that one. I've been getting lots of questions asking when that's going to be out because people want to practice. I've got you covered it's going up on Monday. So you've got plenty of time to prepare. You don't actually need any special effects stuff for that. You just need to get yourself some thick yarn or you can use thin cotton if you want but I tried to make mine a little bit different from other people that have done it because I was planning on just doing the typical cotton but then like heaps of people have done it and then Sally did it and I was like shit Sally we've got to make it look different so I went for a really thick wiry look so it's a little bit different to other people's tutorials so hopefully people don't get angry like last time I put my own spin on it so that goes up Monday lots of you are looking forward to it so I'm really excited to see the feedback and then this video I'm editing now is a makeup haul lots of MAC stuff and some stuff off Nordstrom and some stuff that got sent to me I actually filmed this a while ago if you can tell by the makeup look I'm wearing like I filmed that a few weeks back I think or like I don't know how long ago it was but I'll put that up on Wednesday and then next Friday, I'm going to do the pink hair fairy look. Lots of you have been requesting my version of a broken doll, like a broken porcelain doll for Halloween. Lots of people want to be that this year, so I might film that. I don't know if I'll do it tomorrow, see how I feel. Otherwise, I'll film that next week. And then I'm also going to do another video just before Halloween of some last minute Halloween ideas, like what I've done in the past like I did that last year that was a really successful video and it helped out so many of you so I'm gonna do that again this year and I'm just gonna do three simple Halloween like costume ideas that you can do last minute kind of thing if you've got a last minute party or whatever you want to do so there are a lot of Halloween tutorials that I am probably not gonna get a chance to complete that I've bought the props for and everything but I'll see how I feel. Maybe if I have the energy, I'll just film some bonus Halloween tutorials. But I mean, the three in one one's gonna be quite intense to get done. So we'll see how much time I actually get. Um, if I can, I will film some extra ones and do some bonus uploads. Otherwise, I'm just gonna start filming normal makeup tutorials and stuff again because I have a friend coming next week two friends coming next week and then next month I've got Tahiti I've also got our house I also might be going on another trip somewhere which I'm not going to talk about yet just in case it doesn't happen um and then after that it's December which obviously December's super busy I've got to prep so that I can take off a little bit of time over Christmas and New Year's and I have decided um with my daily vlogs I'm gonna keep vlogging unless you know as I say if I need a day off I'm gonna take a day off but I've decided over New Year's I'm going to stop daily vlogging I don't know for how long I might do sometime around like maybe like the day after Christmas until after New Year's sometime I don't really know I'm going away anyway to like a batch where there is no internet so I won't be able to upload vlogs anyway but I just need a little bit of time off anyway so I'm going to take a week or two off daily vlogging around New Year's so I'm just warning you now I need some time off so I figure that's a good time to do it plus you know even if I wanted to daily vlog I can't because there's no suitable internet for uploading. I'm enjoying vlogging a lot but I also just want to have a little period of time where I don't have to worry about editing every day and don't have to worry about uploading and don't have to worry about like comments and all of that kind of stuff and just enjoy some time with friends and family and stuff around Christmas New Year's. I'm really really excited but I still will do some vlogging and then I'll just do like a compilation video when I get back home. I'm so out of breath and I don't know why. So I'll still vlog but yeah I won't be doing the daily vlogs and then depending how I feel I'm sure I'll probably get back into it next year sometime. Tahiti's another period of time I'm going to Tahiti for about a week at the beginning of November so I don't know if I'm going to be able to daily vlog like I don't know if I'm going to have suitable internet to daily vlog so if I can't upload I will probably just vlog and then upload them when I get back to New Zealand but yeah I'll keep you updated and I'll have social media so just follow me on Twitter and Facebook and stuff and I'll update you there. What have you got? What's that? Where'd you find this? Hmm? Still haven't showered. It's 20, no, 10 to 4. And I just finished editing yesterday's vlog. <sighs> I'm so tired. I just did a couple of videos. Um, now I'm just doing a thumbnail. Don't know what to do with my life. Ah! Chicken. So much regret. I need to have a shower. And I think I might make green curry and veggies or something for dinner I kind of feel like some rice or something I'm in such a hungry mood today I think it's because I had a shitty breakfast like when I eat a healthy breakfast I usually don't get cravings and don't 
um, get too hungry throughout the day, but whenever I eat, no breakfast or a shit breakfast. I get so much more hungry. Like right now I'm starving, but it's like four o'clock. So it's like, kind of shouldn't eat. Should just wait for dinner. I don't really know. Lily, I haven't showered yet. I'm being lazy. Are you being lazy? Yeah. So I put my daily vlog up earlier than normal today. Um, and I'm going to read some of the comments and questions and stuff. Because I've seen there's a couple questions. Ugh. Julia Cardamone. I'm sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. She said, would you consider getting any more pets in the future? One day, but not any time in the near future for sure i don't know we'll see what happens but at the moment we're happy with our two puppies like people don't realize how much work animals are and unfortunately that's probably why so many end up in shelters and things because people don't think about it before they get pets but they are a lot of work especially italian greyhounds people have been asking me in my vlogs um to talk about italian greyhounds because they really want one and everything but I knew exactly what I was getting myself into when I was re because I researched Italian Greyhounds for a long time before I got mine. Or before I got Louie, I should say. They are incredibly needy. They're like basically one of the most needy breeds there are. They get bad anxiety. They are babies. They are hard to train. They hate the cold and they hate the wet. If it's like raining outside, they will basically refuse to go outside and go to the bathroom. They will go to the bathroom inside <laughs> there are a lot of work like zeus is still a lot of work but definitely nowhere near as much as louis so yeah it's just like you know we've got our hands full with our two dogs plus louis doesn't get along with other dogs very well apart from zeus so oh look everyone's come to say hello so i don't want to upset louis by getting any more dogs or anything at the moment anyway i think he would have a meltdown um he doesn't even like kids like whenever there are kids um like walking down the street or something i've got to walk louis to the other side of the road because he gets so terrified he's very very scared of children and babies and things and i've tried to get him used to them but at the same time you know you don't really want him to freak out and nip or something you know so it's kind of difficult i think one day when i have kids that'll be bad enough but at the same time he'll be you know a mature age for a dog by the time i have children so hopefully he'll be a lot more chill by then because he's still only like two almost two <laughs> so he's still a little baby would you ever do a vlog of you at the gym so we can see your workout routine um people always ask me this in like every vlog and i talked about it in my vlog i called it like vlogging at the gym or something something along those lines but no because it's just awkward vlogging around other people that are working out like i know i wouldn't want to be filmed at the gym i'm sweating my ass off and not looking attractive like you don't really go to the gym to look great do you um so i don't want to make other people feel uncomfortable plus i go to the gym just for some me time and just to chill out and think and you know i can't be bothered like going and filming and everything most of the time what I do at the gym is pretty boring. I do lots of cardio and people say like, oh, if you want to do this, this and this with your body, you shouldn't be doing only cardio, blah, blah, blah. But I do cardio because I enjoy it, which sounds weird because not many people enjoy cardio, but it gives me lots of time to think and I just like it. And then sometimes I do weight training. I do like leg presses and stuff like that. I do pull-ups and dips and just various workout like machines, basically. I don't really have... A reason of doing much like I just work out because it makes me feel good and I just do whatever I feel like doing on the day I don't really have goals at the moment I just go because I enjoy it and it makes me feel amazing and yeah <laughs> Laura Colif or Colif if you were any animal what would it be and why I'd be a dog for obvious reasons like look at this most chill life there is specifically one of my dogs they just eat all day they have delicious high-grade food that costs like a million dollars per bag they have delicious treats they get to nibble on carrot which is like their favorite they have toys everywhere they've got outdoor sofas they've got like six different pet beds they've got blankets they are living the life you guys if i could be any animal i'd be like louis or zeus mitts 317 asks hey shan do you eat anything before you go to the gym and no i don't i usually feel sick when i eat first thing in the morning i think i've said that in a vlog before i don't know why i just don't feel good like it makes my stomach hurt and if i eat before the gym because i like to go to the gym like first thing in the morning i don't like to procrastinate if I eat before the gym, 
I'd have to wait a while and then work out because if I eat and work out like directly afterwards it gives me a sore stomach as well so I just go to the gym without eating and I find I have oh. enough energy of course but everyone's oh. different Louie <laughs> Everyone's different. Some people work out better like in the afternoon, like once they've had a couple meals. Some people work out better after a snack. Some people work out better on an empty stomach and I'm just one of those kind of people that works out better. But you know, just do whatever works for you. I'm confiscating this. It smells like latex. I'm trying to find one more question to answer. Someone asked me if I can do a Maleficent look for Halloween. Do you think you could do a tutorial? Um, I don't think I'm doing a Maleficent one this year because, as I was saying earlier, I'm just, I've got so many ideas already and I've bought all my props, so I'm kind of doing what's on my list. But, if you want to watch a cool one, I think Samantha Badalash did one recently. I haven't watched it yet, but I think I saw it in my subscription box, if I'm not imagining things. Anyway, it looked incredible from the thumbnails, so check out Samantha or Badalash. Pop it in Google, Badalash Maleficent, and it should come up. Louis is so keen for this. I really need a shower, but I just... Got no motivation today. I've actually done a lot of work though. I did heaps of um, EXO Beauty stuff just before as well. Ah! <laughs> and I was just picking out some names for some new styles of lashes and things. And you guys are complimenting the lashes I wore yesterday too, which is awesome because I think I'm going to be stocking them. And I tried them on again with out screwing up my application, and they looked amazing. So. I'm happy with them. They're really long as well. <laughs> I should probably start cooking some dinner. What's the time? It's 5.05. Oh, maybe in a bit. I'm just going to watch some YouTube, I think, for a while. By the way, I have ordered some clear contacts. I've actually got some clear contacts. I don't know. I've just been getting my money's worth out of these ones because they cost, like, over $100. I don't want to throw them out yet because, knowing me, I will put them in a contacts case and forget about them. And then I'll go to use them again in like a month and they'll be all dried up. So I'm just wearing them a little bit longer. <laughs> and I'm going for another LASIK appointment next month. I think, yeah, next month. Like near the end of next month. The eye doctor guy wants to um, finalise the fact that I probably can't get LASIK. But he has told me there's other um, like ways of correcting my vision that we can like look at potentially maybe i'm not getting my hopes up though i got so upset last time my vision is something that really like gets me down like it's something i just i get so angry about i'm like why me <laughs> and it seems so silly but yeah if you guys have bad vision as well you know how i feel so hopefully i can fix it that would be amazing but if i can't then shit happens and life will continue and the world will still spin Guys, I am dying. Someone just sent me this video on Twitter. Do you wanna go for a... He's <laughs> so cute. Look how fat he is. Oh my god. Do you... <laughs> just did a couple more posts to EBR EXO on Instagram. So make sure you go follow if you're not already. That's the username up the top. So I'm making some Thai green curry. I've just got some green curry paste in here. Just like pre-made stuff from the supermarket. I'm just gonna fry that in some oil. Bring in some coconut milk. And then I'm just adding in some stir fry veggies and some peas as well. And then I'm just adding in a little bit of coconut sugar to taste. That's how it's looking now. I added in the rest of the coconut milk as well. And then I'm cheating. I'm just having this for my rice because I can't be bothered actually cooking any. <laughs> so just some brown rice. Dinner is served. So I finally had a shower. It's quarter past seven. I'm doing a face mask. I put Glam Glow in like my Homer Simpson area. <laughs> and then around the rest of my face is that Antipodes Honey and Manu oh, Manuka Honey mask. Like that moisturizing one. So yeah, because my nose and like around the sides of my nose is really like congested. And then... I've been getting a few stress breakouts and stuff, so I'm just doing this. Hopefully my skin feels better afterwards. Oh, this is so sexy. Happy birthday! just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all your nice comments today on my vlog. I've just been reading them tonight. I hope you guys had a really good day today. And if you're not having a good day, I'm sending you virtual chocolate pizza. And 
Oreos and noodles. Noodles are good. Bye.